This is Charlie. Um, some of the best launchers out there, in my opinion, um, I've been using launchers since for the past few years. It's just a good way to really pimp your phone. I mean, a launcher is basically a way to customize your phone and pimp it to make it look different, to make it feel as different. Android will still run under the hood as it always as it always does, and you can see that. No matter what launcher you have, whenever you click on settings, you'll go directly back to your Android settings or whatever your phone setting is. This is the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. And when you get your phone, it comes with, obviously, uh, a Samsung launcher on there. The launcher is called TouchWiz. So TouchWiz is your main launcher. That's what it comes with. And when you get your phone, it will only be TouchWiz. And when you start adding launchers, you will get into that screen where you can change your launcher just like that so if you get your phone i can always click always or i can click just once and which i'm going to do right now and it goes into my touch with launcher this is what my my phone came with and as you can see i have two screens and it rotates all the way why i have two screens i um, mean my last video like i explained is i have my whatever i i want at the time is right out there which is my email and my time and my weather I can flip over there and I have a number of different um, folders in there. I have my media folder. I have my news folder. I have my test folder. And normally what I do is I normally have one, one, one screen because I have access to stuff on the side with Pi. And I also have this up there. So I have access to the things that I use on a daily basis. If I need to get anything else that I doesn't use all the time, I usually go into my app drawer, and that's where I have access to all my apps and all my widgets. But back to the launchers. So right now I'm rocking on this right now. I'm rocking um, TouchWiz, which is a Samsung launcher. One reason I do, I do like TouchWiz all the time is that row down here, it takes away from putting like another row of apps down there. So what I did was, if I click home right now, it give me the it give me the option to rock my other favorite launcher, which is Nova Launcher. I love Nova Launcher because it's one of the I think it's the best launcher out there. I've always had it for quite a while. I even buy the premium version of it because it kind of keeps with Android theme. It just kind of gives you more to do more that you really want to do, which is you want your screen, to, like I want my screen to rotate all the time. So if I was to go into Nova Launcher, this is what I will pull up. And this, this is what I like about it. it. It's fast and you can make it faster. You can change, you can do a lot, of, a lot of settings in it also. You can change your settings and put more apps on there. You can make the apps smaller, make the apps bigger. Uh, I mean, just so much customization, extra customization as to what Android would normally give you. So this is my favorite launcher. And I, I just like, and, and the good thing about it is, is when you, buy, when you get it and you buy it and you put it on there, there is no in your face. It's, 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 it's what it is. It's, it's that and that's it. Though you'd have to come buy extra themes and extra this and extra that. This is what it is. And you can always add more stuff to it if you want from the outside. But Nova, trust me on this, in my opinion, and that's my opinion, Nova is one of the best launchers out there. Um, as you can see, I do have Facebook Home there. I took it out. I didn't like it. I don't think it's something that's ready. And if you, if you listen to the news, you will hear that even the Facebook phone is not making it. I think at and is getting rid of it. So I didn't even bother to use... I try Facebook, Facebook home for a while and I didn't like it. I got rid of it because it tried to take over my phone. I don't want no launcher that's going to take over my phone. I want my phone to be clean and that's what it is. Another launcher that I like uh, after Nova Launcher, my second best launcher I think out there would be Via Launcher. And um, if I click on there and I bought... When I, when I like a launcher, I usually just buy... And get the the premium version of it. It's a really nice launcher. It has a chrome kind of look on it. It has a reflective look on it. Um, this is my page. You can see my clock just stay up there. And this is what. Let me see. It's 
So this is my alarm clock right there, which I have a lot of use for. But you can see that it's, it's really different from the other launchers in the sense that of, of the icons is just different. Um, I don't know where the clock could stay in there. I never had it here before. All right, it comes down and it goes, oh, I can get rid of it. I didn't even know that. That's something that they probably just add in, add into that. But as you can see, it's it keeps coming back. It comes on this page and it goes away. Yeah. So this is what I like about this one. It's it's a really simple launcher. I like the customization look of it. Um, I like some of the um, the widgets that's on there. Um, it's really easy to handle when you when you when you upload it onto your phone. It just basically just do its own thing. And this is what I like about simple launchers. Nova Launcher is a bit more customizable. You have, you have to go deep in there and customize. These launchers basically come simple and already customized, and you just have to do little customizations to it. So this is one of my second, this is my second best launcher that I like. And I'm not gonna go deep into, into that into this video and explain how it works and what you can do. I'm just gonna tell you that this is the good launcher. This is a good launcher. Um my other good launcher that I like again um, is Windows 8 launcher. Um, this is a launcher that makes your, your, your phone look like a Windows phone. And if you a person that, you know what, I'm going to try a Windows phone, you can just try that launcher. And when you, when you upload it, this is how it comes. Pow! It's not, it's, I mean, it's, it's basically already customized for you. And it looks like a Windows phone. It feels like a Windows phone. The, the developers are doing a really good job about it. I, lo I love that part of it, that right there. Um, everything works pretty much good. Click on music, opens your music on there. Let's go back. Flip your galleries, flipping right there. I mean, your tiles are all alive. And if you want that Windows look on your phone, and again, you know, that's a great thing about about those launches is you try it, you have it for a day, you don't like it, you can just throw it back in the background. I have that's why I have all my launches on there, and I basically just flip it whenever I want. Um, everything launch, I made a video on that. This is a, a really a new launcher that's out there. I have I have another video you can check where I went into a little more details about it. Um, it's it kind of remind me of what kind of what Facebook Home should be like. A simple launcher, from the time you add it on, it's just going to do its thing. It's great, it's fast, it's really customizable, and the great thing about it is it's based on search. And if you watch my other video, you will see if you search, you'll see what Superman. So it, <laughs> I, I love that part of it. It search Superman and it, it change your wallpaper to Superman. This is really, really, really something else. But just the search page, it, 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 it changed the search page to Superman. Let's try this again. Uh, okay. Um, um, oops. Batman. You can search Batman, it, it'll give you Batman. And it, it, it gives you the option of rare. Anything I click on there, Barnes & Nobles, Amazon, it's going to take me to something about Batman. So if I also click on, on YouTube right there, it's going to take me to YouTube, and it's going to give me something about Batman. <laughs> this is, is, that's what I like about it. It's, it's a good little, you know, to play with and stuff. And which one? AW Launcher. I was still messing with it. I I don't know. It's it's not something that I really like. It's I haven't really customized it yet. Again, you have to customize it. And what I do like about these launchers is you have to go and get downloaded other themes and and stuff like that. That's why I stick to Nova. I like Nova. Nova is built in. Everything is built in. Everything is there for you. Um, VA Launcher. This is the the free version. Of, of that one so if I click it right now it's the same stuff but these are my top ones it's gonna be Nova Launcher best launcher I think 
for especially for the Samsung Galaxy Nova launcher, number one launcher. A little take a little time to really customize and stuff. Um, I would say, I mean, touch with it, your phone come with your phone come with that launcher, but it's also a good launcher. My second best launcher would be um, launcher eight, just to have that different look of a different phone. So when your friend want to come and say, hey, I have a Windows 8 phone, you're like, you know what? I can pimp a Windows 8 phone too. And if you want to do the, if you want to do the, um, the iPhone 5 launcher, they have, that all, they have that also. I tried once. I didn't really, you know, I have nothing to, I have an iPhone, so I don't really need to have an iPhone theme. But again, everything launcher would be my number three launcher. It's a very simple launcher. No, so it would be Nova, VL launcher second, Windows 8 third, and everything home Fourth, so these are these are my favorite launchers out there. These are my these are the launchers I think are the best launchers for your Samsung Galaxy. Just go out there, try it. Um, like right now, I'm gonna put for the rest of the day. I'm gonna put my my launcher eight and click always, and it's gonna be my premium launcher for the day. This is what I'm gonna show up for the rest of the day. So if right now I click home. It's gonna go back. It's gonna stay. It's gonna. It's not gonna bring up that screen that asks me which one I want because I'm pimping this one. And if I need to change it or to close it down, I just go into my settings and you look for for your window for Windows. Eight. That's how you change your launcher. So after you you put it as default, if you can find that's one of the ways. You look for Windows. Oh, sorry. Look for you go in applications and then you go into your launcher. So your launcher would be. Windows will be all at the bottom, I guess. So you go all the way down. Let's go down and see. RSTW, where is it? Where is it? Okay, so you just you look for Windows 8 launcher. No, I can't find it. But you basically look for the launcher, whatever launcher that you're running at the time. And when you find it, you just uh, raise it. Can I find it? I have so many apps in there, but but it's basically you go into your you open it up and you force stop it. That's all you do. You just force stop. It will force stop whatever that's running, and when you click home, it will ask you the option of what launcher you want. This is Charlie. Try these launchers. You have nothing to lose. Um, if you're not a person that that loves to go into deep customization of launchers, um, just do Windows 8. The Windows the Windows 8 launcher. It's it, it will come just like this, already customized, automatically customized to your liking. Um, also, VL Launcher will do the same thing, and Everything Launcher will do the same thing. They, they, are, they, they, are, they are less complicated than the others. This is Charlie. I'm out.